Hello, kids. How wonderful to see you. Today, we are going to learn about money. Specifically, the US coin. Then, we will learn to add money. Are you ready? Let's begin. There's a song that says, if you want to spend your money wisely, it's worth to learn about it. So, let's learn about the US coins. This is the penny. It's a copper coin that has President Abraham Lincoln on the front. It's worth one cent. This is the cent symbol. It actually says one cent on the back of the coin. This is the nickel. It's a silver colored coin that has President Thomas Jefferson on the front. It's worth five cents which is the same as five pennies. This is the dime. It's a silver colored coin that has President Franklin D. Roosevelt on the front. It's worth 10 cents, which is the same as 10 pennies. So, now you know the penny, the nickel, and the dime. Let's learn to add money. If we have one penny, then we have one cent. If we have two pennies, then we have two cents. If we have three pennies, then we have three cents. If we have nine pennies, then we have nine cents. Here we have two pennies and a nickel. Two pennies are worth two cents. The nickel is worth five cents. Adding two and five, we get seven. So we have seven cents. Here we have four pennies and a nickel. Four pennies are worth four cents. The nickel is worth five cents. Adding four and five, we get nine. So we have nine cents. Here we have two nickels. A nickel is worth five cents. Adding five and five, we get ten. So we have ten cents. So now you know how to add money. Let's have some practice. Task one. Add and write. How much money? I give you some time to find the answers by yourself.
will add your answers. Check if you find the correct answers. Now, take a break for a while and then we move on to work problems with money. Let's solve some word problems with money. Question 1 Laura bought apples for 6 cents, oranges for 3 cents. How much money does she spend? I give you some time to find the answer by yourself. Let's find the answer together. Laura bought apples for six cents, oranges for three cents. We add six and three to find how much money she spent. So six plus three equals nine. We conclude Laura spent nine cents. Question two. John has a dam. He buys a toy car for eight cents. How much money does he have left? I give you some time to find the answer by yourself. Let's find the answer together. John has a dam. A dam is worth 10 cents. So, John has 10 cents. He buys a toy car for 8 cents. We subtract 8 from 10 to find how much money he has left. So, 10 minus 8 equals 2. We conclude John has 2 cents left. Well done! You have finished the lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any question, don't hesitate to put it in the comment box. I'd be very happy to answer. Bye for now and see you soon.